If you need a VPN, let's face it, with the cost of living rising, the last thing you want to do is commit to a two or three year VPN deal. But you may think that you have no other choice if you don't want to compromise on your security, privacy and anonymity when online. Well, what if I told you that you could have the best of both worlds? Keep your money in your pocket and stay safe online. Want to find out how? Let's go and check it out. First of all, if you currently use a VPN, whether it's free or paid, let me know which one you use in the comments below. The VPN that I want to show you today is Proton VPN, which is genuinely one of the best free VPNs. Here's why. The Proton VPN free plan is the only free VPN with no data or speed limits, is entirely ad free, does not log your online activity and is protected by Swiss privacy laws. Many big names such as PCMag and Mozilla agree that no other free VPN service comes even close to matching the privacy and security provided by ProtonVPN. I expect for all of that, you think that there must be a catch. Well, actually, there is no catch as ProtonVPN believe that online privacy is a fundamental human right. Providing free access is part of their mission. The Proton VPN free plan is unlimited and designed for security with no catches and no gimmicks. Just online privacy and freedom for those that need it. The free service is supported by paying users, so if you want to support Proton VPN's mission, you can consider upgrading to their paid plan. Using the Proton VPN free plan doesn't mean that you must compromise on less security, as Proton VPN's core privacy and anti censorship features are available for all users. That includes a VPN accelerator, a strict no logs policy, kill switch, stealth VPN protocol, and the ability to access blocked content. There are many excellent reasons why Proton VPN is a great choice for a free VPN and why you should have it installed on your devices. However, there are a few minor downsides. Firstly, you do have to sign up for an account and that account can only be used on one device at a time. However, that can be bypassed by signing up for multiple accounts with multiple email addresses. Click on the link in the description below this video to sign up for a free Proton VPN account. And secondly, there are only three countries you can connect to with the free plan. They are located in the United States, the Netherlands and Japan. But there are 73 servers available across these locations to distribute the server load evenly. And remember that there are no data caps or speed limits. Proton VPN offers unlimited bandwidth as well. You can install supported Proton VPN apps for most devices, such as Android, iOS, Windows, macOS, Linux, and Chromebook, and streaming devices such as Android Boxes, Android TV, and Fire TV. But the Proton VPN app is only supported on Fire Sticks, Fire Cubes, and Fire TVs that are running Fire OS 6 and above. If you're unsure which Fire OS you have, it's quick and easy to check. Go into your Fire TV settings, select My Fire TV, and click on About. The software version can be found on the left hand side and must show Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7. To install the Proton VPN app, you can get it from my website using the Downloader app. If you don't have Downloader already, install it from the Amazon App Store by searching and installing it. 
If you are using the Downloader app, you will need to give permission for Downloader to install apps. Go into your Fire Stick settings, My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, and click on Downloader to turn the permission on. Open Downloader and type in 28907, then click Go. Wait a few seconds for my downloads page to load, then press the menu button on your remote and press it again to enter full screen mode. Tap down the screen to view a list of categories. Tap on the VPN category, then tap down the list to find Proton VPN and select it. On the next screen, move down until you see a blue download button that looks like this. Then select it to install the app. Once installed, click Done, then click Delete and Delete again to delete the installation file as it's no longer required. You can then go into your app screen to find and open the Proton VPN app from there. You'll need to sign in by following the instructions on the screen. If you haven't yet created an account, then click on the link in the description below this video. Once logged in, connect to one of the VPN servers in the Netherlands, the United States or Japan and start streaming, browsing and using the internet safely in the knowledge that your activity and data are both private and secure. The speeds are pretty decent too. When running a speed test in the Silk browser and going to fast.com, I'm getting a download speed of around 68 megabits per second, which is more than adequate for streaming up to 4K. This is when I'm connected to a server in the Netherlands, which is supposed to be the best location for speed. Try it out, connect to the Netherlands, and let me know in the comments below what speeds you can get with Proton VPN. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and help to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.